doing? What's he doing? Oh, it hisses. I'm getting some hisses now. It's a cute little tail. What are you doing, Mr. Man? Oh, so handsome. So handsome. <laughs> so for anyone joining us on Periscope, you can watch these rescue kittens live 24-7 at tinykittens.com slash live. Their mummy was, is feral. And so I have to take them out to try to socialize them so that they don't learn to be ferocious. Like this one's a little bit ferocious. She's super scary and into me. She's super scary, look at her. She's learning that from her mummy. Oh, but she's such a good mummy. Such a good mummy. And we also have three more pregnant feral cats who are... Oh, he's so ferocious. Who are going to have their babies any day now. Which you can watch. <laughs> Which you can watch on the live cam. She's so ferocious. So uh, all these feral cats are coming from a colony of more than 200 cats. We have spayed and neutered about 170 of them so far, but we still have more to go. And there are always new cats showing up. And um, so when we find pregnant ones, uh, we, we um, foster them so that they have a safe place to have their babies. And then of course, mom and babies are all spayed and neutered and babies are adopted into loving homes. And this time around, we're gonna see how the moms do, if any of the moms are receptive to socializing after they're spayed when they're in recovery. We keep them in a low stress cage free environment after their space to give them some time to recover and then we take them back if they're um, not interested in interacting with humans but um, giving them that time to recover lets us give them pain meds and make sure their incisions are healing and see if anyone might be happy living in a home <laughs> and we have had a few we have had a few that have been adopted and that are doing amazingly well. <laughs> she, I think she was sleepy last night, so that's why we didn't get the two, the full trutitude. But this morning, she's refreshed. This is Maisie. This is Maisie McGrew. She's a girl, a girl ginger. She's very beautiful. Very beautiful. They'll be four weeks old tomorrow, if you can believe it. And this is Bartholomew. He's got big paws and he's so handsome. Mm-hmm. So handsome. He's so cute. Where are you going to go now? Oh, such a big boy. Such a big boy. Everybody's eyes are looking really good. Look at you go. Mm -hmm. this is a, oh, she's very. Oh, are you playing with your pink puffball? Are you playing with your pink puffball? <laughs> Look at that zooming. 
they've gotten good at so much better at moving around. Look at you walking with your legs underneath you. Like a big girl. Such a big girl. The other moms are doing uh, great. Um, so far, anyway. Um, Neelix got her nest upgraded. And Sky got Neelix's old nest. So they're adjusting to their new nests. Um, I don't know if Neelix has actually... Gone in her new nest yet, so I'm hoping she will do that today. There were some issues with the old one, and uh, since the sliding trapdoor worked so well with the with Savina, um, and because of the sable situation, I think that it will be very helpful to have a pulley, a remote pulley door on a Neelix nest, so that's why I swapped her out. So that if I need to get access to the babies, um, she's been one that runs into the nest um, when she gets scared, so if I'm trying to access babies and she's on the nest, it's not going to work very well. So anyway, this way I can watch and when she leaves the nest I can just slide the door closed from outside the room and then go in and grab babies and hopefully it won't be so stressful for her or and dangerous for me because she's going to be ferocious probably yeah they'll get out but anywho what you doing back there treats you are so cute and ferocious you're so cute and you're ferocious what about this crinkle ball that's pretty exciting Look at that. Look at this. Woo. And then you got a sparkle of <laughs> Where are you going, Maisie McGrew? So Sky, yeah, so Sky has gone into her nest a couple times, which is good. Sky's doing really, really well. She, um, uh, could have babies any day now. Savina is is due. Neelix, they could all go at any time now. So I've been thinking Savina would go first, but she may be holding off as long as possible. I've been predicting April sixth, so honor before April 6th, so we'll see for Savina. But we could be wrong. But that April 6th will be 14 days of belly vision. You're so cute, Maisie McGrew. And Neelix is getting big. So hopefully we'll... I left... I made her a tuna trail um, going into the nest and I also put her old nest blanket in there even though it's dirty and I want to wash it but I put it in there so that maybe maybe that will entice her to come in today so we'll just keep an eye out she's on the windowsill with with Sable right now though so oh you're so cute oh my goodness Oh, you're getting so good at being picked up and being brave. Part of socializing them is picking them up at this age so that they get used to being picked up so they don't panic. See how much better they're getting already? So much better already. And then we have to do a little upside down time. A little upside down. Not to scare them, but to expand their horizons a little bit, so that they... <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. 
scared. It's so scary. Oh my gosh. She's so scary. Hi, Macy. Trudy is. Trudy wins the prize for most ferocious kitten. Where are you going? Oh, tiny, tiny scratches on my arms. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Ugh. Bartholomew Mercury Geisel. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh no! We got a kitten stuck on a tripod. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute they are. I can pet two gingers at once. So we will be swimming in kittens within the next week. Ooh. Hi, Maisie. Oh, Maisie's going to get in my lap. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, Trudy keeps trying to escape. Oh, so handsome. There we go, all three. Uh, Neelix is is less panicky than Savina, but I wouldn't say either of them are. Um, well, not that they're not friendly, but um, they see me as predator, so they treat me accordingly. Because that's all they know, because nobody did this to them when they were little. Nobody gave them snuggles. <laughs> oh. Here's your sister. These guys are a great illustration, though, of what a difference personality makes. Because I know some of the ferals we brought in, people don't believe that they're that they were born feral, but um, these guys are a great example. Littermates—they've had the same experience their whole life, and this one's very ferocious. And if she hadn't been handled, she would have been one of those super ferocious ferals that we see sometimes. And this guy here is so mellow and snuggly. And he would have been like a Mr. T or a Tiger Buffy. Both born feral. So you see that personality plays a role and socialization plays a role. But it just goes to show that some are, re some are born receptive to it and some aren't. Well, I shouldn't say some aren't because they, they're all born receptive to it, but um, some have a much easier time forgetting that they were once receptive to it. They grow out of it quickly. And then they're ferocious. <laughs> you're, you're already ferocious. <laughs> Barty belly. I feel like Barty has grown into his belly a little bit overnight. Oh, if someone's blocking. There's his belly. There's his belly. There it is. Oh, look, what's this? Oh, no, 
Twinkle, twink. Oh, good upside down time. That's good. Very brave. Hi, me, Susan Grave. Trudy, if Trudy goes off to sleep, she's going to have to do it in my lap. <laughs> Look how cute they are. I did see Sky in the sink. That was very cute. Oh, look at that little bum. Kimsey's has already met these kittens. She she came over for some kitten therapy after baubles. You're so cute. Oh, look at that little face. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop the periscope because I can't, I, it's probably not even working anyway. We'll stop it on a cute close up though. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you aren't watching tinykittens.com slash live, you can see these guys, see the rest of the broadcast. So thanks for tuning in.